Hello friends, welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please do and join us in this trip to master vegan cooking. I have read and heard a lot about Miyoko's Creamery Vegan Butter, but unfortunately, I can't purchase it where I live. So I've decided to recreate it with the information I can find online about the composition of this butter. So here it is, my interpretation of Miyoko's Cultured Vegan Butter. This recipe rendition is just exceptional. I didn't expect such a result. It's creamy like regular butter. It spreads beautifully. It browns just like real butter. The flavors are deep and complex and leave in your mouth this delightful sensation when eaten in a sliced grilled bread. This is an incomparable vegan butter recipe and definitely the butter I will make for cooking in the kitchen and that I will add to cakes and to any dishes that require that magic butter touch. Try it and let me know in the comment section how it was. I'm pretty sure that it will change your life from a gustative point of view. So grab your ingredients and let's get started on making that butter that will, without any doubt, excite your taste buds. To realize this vegan butter, you need cashew nuts and they traditionally comes in that form, but I buy them in that form simply because they cost half the price. They're broken, but when you soak them in water, it doesn't really matter. You also need oil. So you need um, coconut oil that is deodorized. Deodorized means that the coconut flavor has been removed. So when you make your water, it doesn't taste like coconut. You also need a neutral oil. So here I use a sunflower oil because it doesn't have a particular taste. You also need lecithin. This one comes in a powder form. Lecithin is uh, an agent that keeps the oil and the water to separate when you mix it. And this butter has uh, water and oil. So the lecithin is going to keep the water and the oil binding together. So you also need water and you also need salt. So salt can be omitted. However, there's nothing better than butter with salt, so I would recommend for you to put the salt. And the last ingredient that is very specific to this recipe is the ferment. And this is a ferment that is used for yogurt. And I'm going to use only a part of the pack, simply because you don't need too much of it. If you put too much of it, your butter is going to become too tangy and the fermentation is going to be too strong. Oh, the vilain baby! Qu'est-ce qu'il veut? Vous voulez du wampi Let's start this recipe by soaking the cashew nuts into water. There are two ways to soak the cashew nuts. So either way you soak them in cold water overnight, approximately eight hours, or you can also cook them in boiling water to fasten the process. So today I'm going to boil them to go faster. So just put the cashew nuts into the pan and and cover with water. Yes. Just make sure that they are well covered. The water will evaporate and you don't want to burn the cashew nuts because of lack of water. Put the saucepan to the stove and set the temperature to medium high. and let the cashew cook for approximately 10 minutes. 10 minutes have passed, so you can stop the fire now and let the nuts cool down in the water for 10 minutes. Bring the saucepan to your working station and filter the cashew nuts to get rid of the residual water. And this. And discard the residual water. We don't need it. Next, we are going to blend the cashew nuts. So for this, you need uh, a blender. The blender is going to help to break down all the particles into a smooth sort of cream, similar to the texture of the melted butter. Add the water. Yeah. 
and we are going to add the yogurt ferment. We are going to use one eighth of a teaspoon of this pop. We don't need too much because this is going to ferment too much. Like this, that's enough. Then put the cover and start the food processor at low speed first. Then increase the speed to maximum. And then transfer the cashew milk into an airtight container just like this. Scrape the excess with a spatula. Close the And then put this mixture in the oven that is turned off for around eight hours to let it ferment. So cashew nuts have fermented for eight hours and it has become something like a curd so it's a bit solid it has bubbles from the fermentation and it tastes like like a sour cream mm, it's quite nice so what we're going to do now is we're going to blend everything together to obtain a perfect and smooth mixture so we're going to start by putting the wet elements the cashew cream the coconut oil the coconut oil has to be melted the neutral oil then you are going to put the lecithin Finally, the salt. And now we're going to blend. I blend approximately for one minute. So we start at low speed first. And then gradually we're going to increase the speed. It's important to blend well because the lecithin needs to be incorporated well into the mixture to blend the oil and the water together. As you know, water and oil don't bind together, so the lecithin is there to ensure that the oil and the water are not going to separate. We are just trying to make an emulsion here, and if you blend too high, you are going to create air bubbles, and this is not necessary in the recipe. The mixture now is well blended. It smells very nice. It's, it smells like butter. Then you will need a recipient with a lid that can contain two cups and a third of the butter. That's the quantity that you will yield with this recipe, which is equivalent of two large bars of butter. So you make two out of one. You can freeze uh, the excess.
You can separate the butter into two different recipients, though smaller than this one, one cup each, and keep one on the fridge for everyday consumption, and then freeze one to keep longer and use it when you will need it. So now you have to put it into the fridge at least four hours, but I prefer to put it overnight. A trick of the trade, after the butter has spent 1-2 to two hours in the fridge and started to partially solidify, I figured out that blending the butter at this stage with an immersion blender really improves considerably the texture of the butter. It helps to emulsify the oil and the cashew milk beautifully and obtain a perfectly smooth butter. Without it, it would still work, but this is an enhancement I really recommend you to do. Hi Alex! <laughs> So today I invited my friend Alex to come hey and taste that vegan butter that is a recreation of the famous Miyoko's Primaries butter. I baked a bread for the occasion because we need a nice bread for an even a butter, right? Maybe after I'm going to toast the bread because I used to like eating butter on toasted bread. How did you like to eat butter? That or on top of a pancake. Anything else? Yeah, toast. Well, we usually buy like a whole bag of toast already cut and sliced and from supermarket. We don't have the luxury of baking our own bread. Oh uh, yeah, the... The square thing. Oh, the bread though. Yes. Okay. And we have a toaster oven and that, that make that ting sound when it... So I'm going to uh, toast this bread and then I'm going to be right back. Alright, so the bread is toasted. So now we are going to spread. See, the thinness is exactly like butter, and I spread it on the bread. It's great. This is a good stuff, maybe from the bread. The texture is exactly like butter. Let's try it. Mmm. Try it. Good. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to make a comment, but this is so good. I'm surprised. It's really, really good. This is so amazing in a way that it's uh, it's rich and fragrant. Not 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 because of the smell. It's the the depth of the the, the taste. Like some 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 something tastes like flat, and this has like let's say like multi-dimensional like it's a it's like echoing in your mouth if you understand what I'm talking about. It it reaches every part of your of your palate. Not just like a margarine can be just like a fat. Yes, yes. Flavor. It has it's like a symphony. If uh, if like or the flame. It's just a melody. This is like a symphony of a lot of things. This is surprising. And you use all like natural ingredients. You don't use all this uh, industrial... Nothing else, everything. But it has this very, like you said, elevated, uh, sophisticated taste. I'm surprised. I just... You can have a um, butter toast. I know, but this is so... I'm... I didn't expect this. Honest to God, I didn't expect it. I was like, yeah, I'll be a good friend. I'll say nice things. But I'm like, I was for a moment speechless. Because it tastes so surprising. It's the first time I do it. Oh. And I was wondering what the fermentation, what it will bring. Because Miyoko's butter, it's cultured. That's what is written into the, into the box. Mm. And um, I've never heard about cultured butter before. So then I was like, I tried culture the, the cashew nuts. Cashew nuts is very similar to milk. Uh, yeah. See what it does. And I was thinking maybe it will, it will turn uh, sour, but it doesn't. No, it really doesn't. It has like a sweet aftertaste. But the sweet is really mellow. It's a, it's a creamy sweet. It's like a, it's a lasting kind of note. It's so good. I'm so sorry you guys are not having the taste of it. I'm really, really surprised. If uh, if you, if I didn't know is you made all vegan, I would be 
you were suspect that it's yeah. yeah Calvino. The, the first, like when I took the first bite, I was like, it's a. Uh, it, it tricked. It tricked me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Alex. Okay, keep eating. No, thank you for letting me try this. This is so good. I don't. I don't think you will ever regret it. Being vegan is a good thing, and if we have the source at all, we can be happy forever. Yay! Thank you all so much for watching this cooking video. I hope that you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. I also hope that you feel inspired to get creative in the kitchen and try your hand at this recipe. Remember, cooking is about experimenting, having fun, and most importantly, sharing the love, the good food, and the good times. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.